olive oil, the best production in the Mediterranean Sea. Hi guys, welcome to a new episode on the channel. Today we were talking about the Mediterranean Sea's most popular resource, olive oil, which is water. Now, olive oil is used for cooking in loads of days, but how does olives, and basically even olive oils, happen? Well, first of all, we need to know, learn about the history of olives. Olives are grown mainly in the Mediterranean, and it's been the most widely done product of the world. Since I get a lot of cash in it. Let's say that I am an olive farmer, and somebody gives me all their money for all my olives. If I see what, how much their money is, and find out that it's a million, a million, a million, times, million, times, million dollars, and he's a billionaire? I mean, more than a billionaire, I mean, richer than a billionaire, I mean, a zillionaire. That is actually a number. Then I was like, all right, here you go. And so, here you go. And they'll be like, thanks. I mean, I'll be rich, and I'll be the zillionaire, and they'll be the poor people. Or they would just sell the olives for another zillion ton of money and become the zillionaire again. This is how it works. There, that's a way to become a zillionaire for life. Like, if a zillionaire comes and buys all this, well, I'm just going to say thank you, or just buy parts of it. This analogy is really imperfect, but however, it doesn't really make the point. Olives has been really, has been a really good production since our days. Mediterranean trade routes usually trade olives, and there are three types of olives in the Mediterranean, by the way: green olives, black olives, and brown olives. Now, at first glance, you might think that the green, black, and brown olives are on the different trees. Turns out, the brown is on the singular tree itself, while the green and black olives. And are originate from the same tree. That's something you don't expect every day, do you? That's how a lot of things can actually work. But once you get into our analogies and find out why it's really an amateur analogy, you will understand eventually. Olives are the main resource in our world, and green olives has to be picked when the olive tree is still young. Well, black olives has to be picked after some of the olives go old and yeah they just turn black that's it's basically like a rotten version of green olives and you might be wondering about how olive oil is made now this bottle contains a lot of olive oil and how is this made you might be asking well i should have mentioned this earlier but olives olives are really useful Olive oil might be a very, really cool thing, but what's its use? Well, and are there any leftovers? Well, no, and yeah, well, no, yes and yes. Olive, olive's uses are all, they're like olive oil making, uh, decorations for a cup, it, the, the olive oils, the, I mean the olive branches, Leaves can be made into a tea, there's nothing left over. The branch can be part for decoration, and if you don't use the branch, well, you can just use it as something to chew on or for your hamster to chew on. Or if your hamster doesn't like it, well, better just throw it away. But there's always something to use from the olive trees, and it can, and it can even be used to light lamps as fuel. Now, how is olive oil made? Well, you might look at first glance that it's it's green, and that then it's supposed to be made from green olives. Well, incorrect. It's green because the glass is green. Also, if you are a noob and doesn't real and doesn't realize that until now, well, you really are a noob and you're fanned from my channel. No, I'm just kidding. I really want more sharp fibers. There's a lot we can happen inside this inside the pro process of all over making. So. So this is the best way to make an olive oil and homemade. So this won't be a really exact process, but I just hope this works. If and you should know some things though. First of all, you should know how long a how long does a green olive t takes to change into a black olive. So at the near at the time, just a few hours away from your olive tree to your house, or a few minutes. Just pick up a green olive that will just change into a black olive once you reach to your olive oil, olive oil making place. 
and then once you reach your house and the olives to all turn into black, then start liquefying it. The sooner you liquefy the black olives, the better. Don't try liquefying green olives though. It will just take too long. It won't be as healthy as the black olives oil though. And then once you liquefy it, you can make it into oil. It has a lot of cooking benefits. And there and these are some Oreo. Uh, these are some olives, by the way, that my mom eats. I don't really eat them. I don't even like olives. Olives might be on pizzas, but I don't really like them. I just put them on the pizza and then eat and then eat the pizza without the, the olives. And then let my mom eat the olives, which is all, some stories actually do. I'm one of those criticizers. But I actually like olive oil itself. Not exactly, but my mom actually uses this for salad dressings. And once you liquefy all the black olives into this oil, well, what you get is olive oil. You can use this for cooking, but don't boil it. It will just make it unhealthy. And it can even be used as fuel for light. Just don't use too much oil. Just burn. Another use for this is just like decoration for salads. Like how my mom uses it. So this is how olive oils can be really cool and all that stuff. If you want to learn more about olives, Check out the website on olives or just look for all the facts. So yeah, this is where I'll end this episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode. Turn on out. Peace.